It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. More recently, I found an article to be so ridiculous. Basically, it was talking about gaming, and I figure I'd do a video response for all you guys. That way I could show you all just how ridiculous the article is. Playing video games will turn humans into grotesque, deformed figures in 20 years, study predicts. Well, let's just put that theory to the test, shall we? Well, guess what? I'm 27. I played video games since I was like two or three years old. The first ever console I ever played was like the Nintendo. And at the Nintendo, it was the PlayStation. And after PlayStation, of course, the other systems. Like I have so many different consoles right now. I have like the PS1, the NES, the Super NES. I also have the N64, the PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4. And I do not look like that guy at all. And matter of fact, yeah, I'm 27 years old. That's like as long as the study suggests, right? And I do not look like that guy whatsoever. Do you guys honestly think I look as fat as that guy? There's like no way in heck someone could say that I look like that person. Ever since the World Health Organization began recognizing video game addiction, as an official psychological disorder, people have been guessing how prolonged gaming could transform our bodies for better or worse. I'm sorry, but people do not become fat just because they play video games. And matter of fact, the main reason why people get fat, for starters, they do not exercise, and also, it comes down to diet choices. Like, of course, there's people like me who do not look fat, who are gamers, and we don't get fat. And so, this whole entire thing right now that I see in this article is just based upon stereotype because not every single gamer is fat. Like, gamers, like with everybody else, have different nationalities, different races, different body sizes, and so obviously, not everybody is gonna fit that sort of stereotype. It's also really funny how this article just talks about the World Health Organization, when in fact, that whole entire organization is not meant to be trusted. For example, they said before that Playing video game addiction is like a psychological disorder, but the next article, they said that playing video games is actually okay. They also claim that putting on face masks would not prevent the coronavirus, when in reality, it did, and they also backtrack that claim. They also stated, of course, that countries should not have travel bans for the coronavirus, and it also, they backtrack that claim again. So, little by little, day by day, the World Health Organization is not to be trusted. Also, there's other activities that can make people fat too. For example, using your cell phone, using the computer, watching TV on Netflix during this whole entire crisis. However, nobody is going out there like the cell phones or the computers or Netflix. Oh no, gaming is the one target that everybody wants to go after because after all, it's like a really, really big industry and so obviously, Everything must be the fault of gamers and gaming. So the Canadian gaming site Online Casino recently compiled a handful of these theories and mock up a sketch of what average gamers could look like in 20 years. The final result is surprisingly grotesque and hilarious. Wait, 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 wait. You're meaning to tell me that this whole entire study that was done by a gambling site? Not by scientists. Not by people in the industry. It was done by a gambling site. And so, there you have it. The image of the stereotypical gamer. So fat. So lovely. 
quite the ladies man. Tell me guys, if you're watching this video and do not share the same sort of stereotype as this image, by all means, post your pictures and your comments down below and my social media sites like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Tyler Preston 20 because obviously not everybody looks like this guy in this image. Certainly not me, and I'm sure there's like plenty of gamers who do not look like that guy right there. Because this whole entire image is just based upon stereotype after stereotype after stereotype. Anyway, I am done with this article. Leave your comments and pictures and whatever down below. And until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, stay at home, and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler